Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to change a user role after a successful subscription payment in WordPress using the Jetform Builder plugin. My name is Andrew and before we start, let me remind you that your likes and comments help the Crocoblock team achieve higher video visibility. So let's get started. First, let's open a form that I have already customized for recurring PayPal payments. You can find a detailed video about how to set up PayPal recurring payments in PayPal developer account on our channel. I'm just going to show you how my gateway settings are configured. As you can see, the PayPal client ID and secret key are already inserted and the gateway action is set to create a subscription. The subscription plan ID created in the PayPal developer account is sourced from the value of a hidden field where it is manually input. There are other ways to connect the form with the necessary subscription plan. For example, instead of a hidden field, I could have used the manual input option and chosen the subscription plan directly in this pop-up or created a select field with several different subscription plan IDs, allowing users to choose the subscription plan themselves. So this is a setup for a PayPal recurring payments form. Now we need to define what happens after the payment is completed, which in our case is changing the user role. First we need to enable the form to detect the user ID. This is done using another hidden field which can store the currently logged in user ID as a value without displaying this information to the user, as it is not necessary for them to see. After setting the hidden field value to current user ID, we need to make modification in the form's post submit actions. Open this section and add a post submit action by hitting the plus new action button. Select the update user option from the drop down menu and click the pencil shape button. A pop up window will display a list of fields from the current form, allowing you to use the values that users input in these fields to modify the information stored about the user or to create new records if it's a new user. For the user role customization, we only need to follow two steps. Help the form identify the target user and select the new user role. For the hidden field holding the user ID value, choose the user ID will update this user option. In the user role field, select the role that you want assigned to the user after the subscription payment is processed. In my case, I'm choosing the role to be subscriber which is one of the default WordPress options. Hit the update button. Now we have to set up the conditions under which this action will be taken, as we want it to be not just the form submission, but a successful payment. Push the edit conditions and events button under the update user action. In the events match tab, select the gateway success event. This ensures that the update user action will only be executed after a user successfully completes the checkout process on the PayPal payment system. Click the update button to save your settings. That wraps up the setup for the form with the user role changing functionality. Now let me show you how this form can be used on the front end, demonstrating its practical application. First of all, with the help of the Jet Pop-up plugin, I've created a simple pop-up with the title, text and a form that we worked on earlier. Next, I modified a web page from one of the Crocoblock website templates. My goal is to create a layout where I can offer valuable media content such as courses to users who have paid for the subscription. To manage user access, I've implemented JetEngine's dynamic visibility feature for the valuable content setting it to show only if the user role is subscriber. For users who haven't paid, I've created a blurred image of the course video along with the sign up now button. The button is linked to the subscription form pop-up, guiding users to proceed to the PayPal payment gateway. The dynamic visibility settings for the container with the blurred image and button ensure that it is only visible to non-subscribers. So, if I'd set everything up correctly, this page should be able to sell content to users. Let's test it out. I will log in as a user with a different role than subscriber. In fact, this user has no role selected for the website, but is a registered user. Similar functionality described in this tutorial could be implemented for unregistered users but in that case, I would have to choose a different post-submit action called registered user 
and build a totally different form. Now when I'm browsing the website as this no role user, I'll navigate to the courses page. As you can see at this point I cannot access the video tutorials, but I can click the sign up now button which opens the form. I didn't make any fields required so I can hit the submit button right away and get transferred to the PayPal payment forms. After the final agree and subscribe button is clicked and the payment procedures are completed I am navigated back to the courses page. This time the video courses are accessible to me because I paid the subscription price and received a subscriber role for the website thanks to Jetform Builder post submit actions. The feature of changing user roles based on payments that was discussed in this tutorial can be used in various ways. For example, it can provide paid access to events, allow users to create posts on the website or unlock specific site features like messaging. I hope this tutorial was easy to follow and helped some users understand how Jetform Builder and other Crocoblock plugins can be used to commercialize their websites. Thank you for watching, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and post your questions and thoughts in the comment section below. See you next time.